today I'm taking pictures of the property for 7-Eleven and for Texaco at the corner of 9100 Greenville Avenue. This is the property that has been in question of where from the animal shelters are being damaged. The area where the animals are, as you can see, this is the beginning. This is the, the side that faces Greenville Avenue. So these people claim that this, the shelters that you will see in a second are damaging their image. As you can see, this is nothing but overgrown area. You will see no, trash. Normally there is beer. Beer cans, paper, and vagrant people hanging around. Just beyond this bush, you're going to see where the shelters really are. As you can see, here is clothing where people sleep and these people do really nothing about it. They do not clean their parking lot, as you see with all the trash that is on paper cups and things. But yet, they maintain that under this bush, that these shelters are damaging and infringing on them. Here is a tree that they cut down about probably a year ago. They just left it behind as they have nothing. Now I'm going to come around and show you the picture from what they claim the customer side is. And the customer can see. The shelters are just behind this particular area. As you can see, the shelters are not visible whatsoever to the public so there is not even any possibility of anyone complaining what is visible is all the trash in their parking lot our feeders are over here once again you can't see them the only thing you can see is a totally overgrown brush from the property that they do not care for all the trash in the corner all the trash from their trash bin which by the way ends up flowing as you will see into the Dallas waterways and which they do really nothing about it to stop it you will see I'm gonna do a little more close-up on some other so that you see some of the some of the trash goes all the way on the creek all the way into the water and all the way into the Dallas they seem to concern themselves with us feeding the animals but they don't concern themselves much with the trash and what goes into the community waterway so now once again I am now turning around 360 from the parking lot this is what's visible as for our feeding boxes okay just a little top as we get closer if you get beyond the edge of the property yes you do see the feeding box but as you can see by all these overgrown bushes this is not a property that is taken care of this is a property they just make him believe look at this trash that is followed in their parking lot which is allowed to totally go into the Dallas waterways okay I'm gonna try to do a little more close-up as you can see this is right I'm standing on their parking lot look at the opposite side where everything flies over there but yet they claim to be a good neighbor they claim to be upset that we are actually you know have the shelter here it is a shame in my opinion that a company that is Dallas based that has made a fortune from the neighborhoods in Dallas that doesn't have the community presence to give back to the community and to work with the community. Uh, as I said, this is a Texaco. Mobile Ted Tedco is the way it's listed on the books. Texaco and 7-Eleven Venture. And there's also a lease or uh, inside of the 7-Eleven. I have the gentleman's name, but I'm not going to put it on this video on, because uh, I want to confirm the, the actual corporation. All of this is going to be moved because they claim that it damages their property, we didn't have the right, etc., etc., etc. They also 
have threatened to remove the animals once again I'm at the creek and I'm gonna do a kind of a pan shot from a long distance you see all the all the paper completely all the trash and this comes off the parking lot because they don't sweep or anything now they claim that they're gonna call animal control and have all the animals removed uh, there have been some insinuations uh, including actually by a police officer that he would call animal control to get the animals removed it appears that some of our police officers do not understand what the laws really are but nevertheless I don't want to go in that area this is really about this particular property you know total disregard for the community while making a living at the community so hopefully someone in the 7-eleven corporation will realize that their employees are not doing what they're supposed to do that they're leasing people are not being part of a community or an effort and if 7-eleven doesn't realize this hopefully the Texaco mobile Texaco people will and somebody will step in this is a wonderful opportunity this is a wonderful opportunity really to set an example of how a community and a business could live together instead they have chosen to take the opposite point of view so you know Texaco and 7-eleven I hope you guys wake up and join the community that is bringing you the profits for your corporation